Yo, what is up guys? Crazy Trends here, back with another video. So if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing. Turn on a notification bell if you guys want to get notified immediately whenever I upload. Of course, you want to drop a like on the video because it'll help me out a ton. And comment down below for any feedback that you want in the video. So in this video, we're going to be doing a Pixlr Fortnite thumbnail tutorial. So what Pixlr is, it's basically like a free alternative to Photoshop. Photoshop has more features and stuff, but you don't really need something that complicated to just to make thumbnails, right? You can pretty much make do with whatever whatever you have and Pixlr is what I personally use to make my thumbnails. It's very effective for what it does. On the Pixlr website, you'll see that they have two photo editors to choose from. There's obviously the original Pixlr editor, but then there's also Pixlr X and Pixlr E. Personally, I like Pixlr E better because there's a lot more options. First step you want to do, go to create new and then you want to go untitled and make this 1280 by 720 because that's the, the YouTube size. And once you choose this, just name it whatever. I'm just going to do it thumbnail tutorial, right? and then you want to hit create. So now you have a blank page. First step you want to do, go to layer, add images layer. And if you don't have an image, then there's plenty of images you can choose from. Personally, I'm just going to do a Fortnite thumbnail, like image, like this is an image I took in replay mode. This is pretty nice. And then the next step you want to do, of course you can mess around the, with the image. You can change the brightness and saturation to your liking or brightness and contrast sorry like personally i like it slightly more contrasted and obviously you can mess around with the filters and stuff you can add some clarity make this like it's kind of like photoshop you know and then make it look as good as you want for the background i wouldn't suggest adding an outline or a glow it's just a background it doesn't really matter too much what it looks like you can also mess around with the temperature and tint it'll look colder or warmer and then whatever like suits your liking is the best and tinting it i wouldn't suggest but so now it looks like a pretty nice photo like you can obviously tell it's been messed around with and then the next step you want to do is you want to add a new layer is go to add layer right here and then you want to add a text layer so now once you have a text layer you can just type whatever text you want so i'm just going to do thumbnail tutorial or let's do fortnite thumbnail tutorial like you do that you can choose from a plenty of fonts there's like maybe a hundred to two hundred fonts here but personally i use moon get which you can do by going to the font place right here and clicking add local font this is a very helpful feature because if you don't like the fonts you can like add your own and a good website to get your fonts is thefont.com you can get tons of good fonts for free and you can just download it and add it on here. So now once that we have that, we can ch mess around with like the font size and stuff. The font size is very important because like you want it to stand out, but you don't want it to be so small that you can't even see it, right? But you don't want it to be so big that it fills up the entire page. So we want to go with like a good medium size. I personally like this. This is way too small actually. And you want it so that it does stand out, but you want maybe like one more image at the bottom. So I'm going to stretch. You can also stretch it out to the side like this. I want it to cover like the upper half. And now once that you have like a size of your liking, I'm going to go with 100 because it's slightly better. Like you can just mess around with all of the other stuff here. You can make it italic. You can right align it, center align it, uppercase. Hmm, I, I like lowercase better. You can change the spacing in between the lines. You can change the spacing in between the letters, but I wouldn't really suggest that. The line spacing is something that you should mess around with, really. And now you you can add any type of style you want. Personally, when I make my thumbnails, I add an outline. Like, it's really nice when you add it. It, like, it makes the things pop out so much more compared to the other one. Like, look at this compared to that other one that, like, the stuff I had in the beginning. And now that you have this, you can proceed by adding another image. Go to layer add images layer so it adds directly and i'm gonna find a youtube logo this is just for the video but usually i would add like a fortnite character or something and this is on the second layer so you want to select this layer and continue to move this around so now you can select this and then you can drag the corners to resize it some people say you have to hold shift but for this one it's not necessary it moves it without holding shift and this is a pretty nice spot to keep it right so if you do want to mess around with like the youtube logo for example i'm just making a tutorial right now so i'm gonna go here and you can add an outline if you want to make it stand out more you can make it black white and then obviously you can mess around with the font size of course i personally don't like this i'd say good size you can control a to select everything of course and then once you have your picture or photo done edited and it's ready you can go to file and then you gotta go to save and then 
start like exporting it or whatever or just saving it onto your computer it'll save in the downloads folder and then i would put the quality at 100 percent right now and png is usually better but it is a larger file size i just go with png because it looks slightly better and then you can just press download and it'll start downloading to your folder so now once you're done that it'll start playing an ad because they obviously got to get the ads in and that is pretty much all you need to make your own custom thumbnail if you guys did enjoy this video be sure to drop a like on the video subscribe to my channel if you guys are new and you want to see more content content like this turn on the notification bell if you guys have it and want to get notified and leave a comment down below on the feedback for this video if you guys want me to improve in any way be sure to tell me and that is all for today's video bye